Hello. Welcome to the lesson SDI IT Architecture. My name is Jorge Gustavo from Linha University. In this lesson, we'll discuss the information technology architecture behind an SDI. We'll be conservative and limit these IT components to the minimum to let all students follow the lesson and be able to do the exercises. We already seen that the SDI has an important technological component. We already talked about geoportals and standards for data specifications, services, and metadata. In this lesson, we'll review the most important software technologies and standards needed to support SDI. There is no optimal IT structure that fits every SDI. In practice, the IT structure will be designed based on the size and the dynamics of the SDI. For users and applications, the visible part of the IT structure are geoportals, data and metadata, and services. These components run on top of our more basic components like web and map servers and geospatial databases. Users can interact directly with geoportals to search, explore and eventually download geospatial datasets. To take advantage of the data and services, users use the generic GIS tools like QGIS. QGIS, like other GIS tools, is able to get metadata, data and even styles from map servers. The above diagram shows the relation between the IT components. Users are able to use GIS tool and the geoportal. The GIS tool and the geoportal are able to take advantage of the services provided by the servers. So, to have the overall architecture, we need to add spatial databases already studied. Spatial databases are used to store geospatial data and metadata. If we add them as the base layer of our IT architecture, discarding the operating system, we'll end up with a diagram on the next slide. And in this diagram shows all components and their relations. Users might not have direct access to the database, but using services will be allowed to take advantage of all geospatial datasets. We already said that there is no optimal IT structure that fits every SDI. We presented an SDI IT architecture as simple as possible to minimize the amount of components needed. But for each component, we still have many different options. 
which your spatial database to use. Postgres, Oracle, Microsoft SQL Server, which map server, Geo server, map server, or degree, which GIS tools, QGIS, ArcGIS, GVC. Fortunately, we can choose the component that suits us best at this moment. Thanks for the standards we have, we can replace one implementation by another. This does not mean that it's just a matter of plug and play. For example, GeoServer, MapServer and Degree provide the same services. The GIS tools consuming these services will not notice if you change from one to another but all of them are configured in completely different ways so changing one from another is not so easy sometimes for this STI course we select well-known components all developed under the OSGO umbrella using OGC standards Any other team teaching, teaching SDI or any other IT team selecting IT components could choose a completely a complete different set of tools. In this lesson, we want that students learn and understand the functionalities and the role of each component. On the future, students might use these or any other equivalent component. In practice, for this course and in this lecture, we'll use these tools QGIS, GeoNode and Postgres. At this course level, students should be already familiar with QGIS and Postgres. GeoNode is a new component introduced in this lecture. GeoNode will be used in two different perspectives, as a geoportal and as a server providing web services. We'll use QGIS to consume these services provided by GeoNode. Let's take a tour taking advantage of the Geono demo available online. We'll visit this website provided and using this demo installation we can learn and try Geono functionalities prior to installing it. To fully use the demo, we need to register to be able to upload datasets and create maps. We'll use data from Khwarezm region, kindly prepared by Professor Muzaffar Machanov. The data is available in the resources folder of the lesson on the Moodle platform. In GeoNode Tour, we'll need to register, publish a layer, provide metadata details, create a minimal style, provide another layer, plus metadata, plus style, and finally create a simple map combining the two layers. Finally, we'll use GeoNode as a service provider. Let's use QGIS to get 
the web map server capabilities and get layers either using web map server and also getting the same data using web feature server. Regarding this lecture on SDI IT structure, you are asked to install your own copy of Geonode as the first exercise. Using your own Geonode installation, we ask you to publish your own vector dataset, to publish your own raster dataset, and using both datasets, create and publish a simple, a simple map. We provide documentation about Geonode installation and Geonode usage and administration on the resource folder of this lesson. Geonode has many documentation online. Try to follow the documentation for the same version of Geonode you have installed. Thank you so much for your interest and attention.